So the big news today is the uh, ongoings at uh, FTX, which a lot of people are concerned has financial problems. It's um, unclear what's going on. The team at FTX hasn't said too much other than yesterday, uh, the CEO, Sam Bankman Freed, said that uh, FTX is fine. The CEO of Almeida uh, named Carolyn has been communicating a little bit too. She said that they did not dump Bybit. Really weird that she would tweet. I don't know what FT FTX is doing. It's, it's really hard to tell. You just don't know until the dust settles, right? I mean, it sounds like they, they took a lot of capital and made venture investments, which for any bank or financial institution is really risky. So question is what's going on with FTX? And is there a way to profit here as a trader is another question. You can certainly short FTT, but I wonder if there's other ways. There was a hundred million dollar bid for FTT. Let me show you a chart real quick. Or it got taken out. That word tested, but it broke down. It's breaking down as we speak. This is the lowest price this token has been for a long time. And I actually don't even know what the token is useful for. I'm guessing it's some native FTX ecosystem token, but. This is pretty ugly, as you can imagine. And markets are, are usually pretty smart. I mean, uh, I think the only way out of this is, is if SBF raises, you know, a billion dollars or something like that, maybe more in a bailout. The problem is that the markets, capital markets, are pretty frozen. Um, so, you know, I don't think he's going to be able to do that. But um, you never know. I mean, there's probably a lot of people who wanted to invest that didn't get a chance last round or something like that. Maybe they'll they'll get a chance now. Binance is out of FTT as far as I know. But if you look at, uh, yeah, somebody, JG's is making a good comment there. It does look like Almeida and FTX's wallets are out of crypto. They're out of Bitcoin, they're out of USDC, they're out of everything, but I could be wrong. Carolyn Capital on Twitter, she she said that uh, they had plenty of capital and that the, the leak was a only one entity. And SBF said just the other day, FTX is fine. I don't think he, it's fine. You know, I think there's, there's issues here. A lot of times in these run situations when there's a panic, uh, it's unclear what, you know, right? sometimes the panic is true, sometimes it isn't. No, there's no obvious answer. Well, FTX is preparing an official statement. Good. That'll be interesting. I gotta say, a lot of people do not think we'd get to this. And I wonder if Binance uh, will consolidate in this sort of uh, setting. I hope that they're okay. You know, Sam Bankman seems like a smart guy and aggressive entrepreneur. Uh, It'd be very bad for the crypto world if... Um, there was some kind of meltdown. So I think if FTX collapsed, Bitcoin would would drop uh, pretty dramatically. Bitcoin's risen very dramatically over the last half hour or hour, so there must be some speculation that they will be addressing the problem and saying that they're okay. Bitcoin is rallying pretty furiously right now, so. Oh, here it is. I have a few announcements to make. Wow, they are they did they did do a deal. They are doing a deal with Binance. What? Our teams are working on clearing out the withdrawal backlog. This will clear out liquidity issues. All assets will be covered. We asked Binance to come in. Wow! It may take a while to settle. Holy! Oh my god. FTX is being bailed out by Binance. Goodbye, Binance. Wow! It appears that FTX, in essence, has failed. That is so crazy. Um, who thought it would come to this, but FTX Looks like, again, my interpretation that they needed this bailout from uh, Binance. Uh, just yesterday, SBF said a competitor is trying to go after us with false rumors. FTX is fine. And now today, Binance making a rescue investment, at least it's the way that I perceive it. You know, they'll call it what they want to call it and spin it, but it appears to be a rescue investment to save FTX. My guess is Sam Bankman was looking at probably insolvency. And now uh, you had your millions of customers possibly that were looking at getting wiped out. Unbelievable. So Bitcoin rallying that the worst is over. This uh, collapse caused by the potential collapse of FTX. FTX is safe because Binance is bailing it out, but we don't know exactly what Binance's financial condition is. And this is the 
the merry-go-round, right? Is that Goldman Sachs, uh, at one point, the impenetrable fortress bank of Wall Street was seen to be possibly in trouble, and Warren Buffett bailed out uh, Goldman Sachs, something that if you told 20-year-old Martin Shkreli would ever happen, I would laugh at you, uh, but it happened. And now the question becomes, well, what the heck is going to happen to Binance? We don't know what Binance's financial position is. They're bailing out FTX, but does that now reduce their capital position? And this all goes around and around and around because ultimately if you take customer assets as a bank or a financial institution and you, I think this is the cardinal sin, is you make investments in VC stuff, that is what causes a collapse. Lehman Brothers did this, other banks did this. The best you can do as a bank or a financial institution that rehypothecates customer assets, the best you can do is loan the money out and be the senior secured lender in a safe, collateralized loan. That's the best you can do. That's why banks hold government bonds. That's why banks hold mortgages, which even are sometimes risky. And it's a diverse portfolio of credit cards, mortgages, corporate loans, um, real safe stuff. Taking cash and putting it into Aptos or SUI, S-U-I, I don't know how to pronounce it, SUI. That's crazy, right? And that's why this has just happened. And it's, it's really remarkable. My guess is this deal was very unfavorable for FTX, but we don't know the terms of the deal, but it sounds like pretty fatal blow where FTX was out of money. I mean, they said they're not, they're gonna work out withdrawals. I mean, that sounds like a bankruptcy liquidation situation. You never wanna hear the word work out. So Binance coming to the rescue must be taking virtually all of FTX. I doubt Sam Bankman is a billionaire anymore. Uh, I would doubt that he has um, very much at all, in fact. find it interesting that Bankman donated 30 or $40 million to the Democratic Party. No political statement on my part, you know, but an interesting use of personal money, assuming it was personal money. Uh, I think FTX donated $150 million to charities. A lot of like irrational spending for, you know, I think there's this expectation when you, you drink your own Kool-Aid and think, well, the future is different. Uh, it does appear FTX is insolvent and Binance is bailing them out. Yeah, I'm stunned uh, at this. I can't say I'm that surprised, but I actually now think the question is what what do you do at Binance? What does Binance's balance sheet look like? I don't think it'll be long. You know, we started with three arrows, moved to Celsius, all kinds of other parties. Um, a lot of crypto has been stolen, uh, compromised, hacked. North Korea, often the culprit. Um, poor programming, another culprit. And uh, this is a sort of sketchy and dangerous ecosystem in a lot of ways. It's, of course, it's very powerful and exciting and revolutionary in others. But we're talking about building huge asset classes on, you know, what so far looked like an ecosystem of Ponzi schemes, an ecosystem based on bad lending. It's sort of like if, if a bunch of teenagers, no offense to the youth, took over the, um, you know, financial system. It, this is kind of the result of that. I mean, you see this like reckless spending, reckless lending. You know, for example, if you think about the Aptos or SUI investments, valuing new blockchains at several billion dollars, you know, that Aptos investment looked looked crazy. Um, but I think FTX might have led that deal or something like that. And obviously they did well with the, their Solana deal, so they figured let's go ahead and, and do that. So they sold all their Solana the other day to raise capital for these withdrawals. That didn't work. They ran out of money again. So yeah, I don't think this is bullish for Bitcoin, by the way. If I had to be trading Bitcoin right now, I'd be shorted. This relief rally will probably not continue, in my opinion. I don't know. I hate to say this, but... If I have a good balance sheet, I might want this liquidation to take long. Uh, and that's sort of a pernicious way to do it. And I'm not saying anybody should approach it that way. But I do think that if you're CZ, you might want to really drag this on and cause more pain in crypto if, if you have a good balance sheet. And of course, you know, the way to do that would be, you know, to just sort of over-legalize and over-regulatorialize everything. You know, you might have to put FTX into receivership or bankruptcy and force this long, literally withdrawn withdrawal process. The problem with Binance is if they're the lender and buyer of last resort, you know, who's the lender or buyer of last resort for Binance? And I think 
again, without knowing what Binance's balance sheet looks like, we just don't know. It sounds like CZ is probably a, the best manager of this group, but we don't know everything, right? It shows that even some of the better capitalized, better actors in crypto need help. So what does that say about a KuCoin? What does that say about um, crypto.com? What does that say about some of those other exchanges? Coinbase is another example of a, of a company that could uh, disappear. I would imagine FTT is going to disappear. Their FTT just jumped up, uh, which makes no sense to me. If you're CZ, you're not keeping the FTT brand. You know, this is a great short uh, at 18, remarkably good short in if you think about it, right, um, great trade idea right here, actionable trade. FTT was at 22 in an undisturbed market. Rumors of insolvency hit. It goes to 18. Rumors continue. It goes to 15. FTX is bailed out by Binance. They're not going to, they're going to change all the FTX shit to Binance. They're not going to keep it as a brand. They're not going to keep this token. They're going to move everything to the Binance chain. Why would they protect FTT? With, with their capital base. They could keep it as a brand maybe, but it, it doesn't seem like it would be, you know, a wise thing to do. Very sad that in essence, these funds were not segregated. These were basically customer money that they gambled with. Really sad, really scary. My take is that FTX is ba basically bankrupt, that Almeida is also bankrupt and that there is no, um, the, these entities will not survive, um, which is, you know, that's my take. I'm not sure I'm 100% right. Again, I don't think that's bullish for crypto. There's serious risk that Binance could be in trouble over time. You know, we don't know their balance sheet. We don't know their business model. You know, this is a tough space where, in essence, you're talking about taking a transaction fee for people trading fiat and crypto, and those transaction fees have dropped dramatically to the point where they're basically free. So between lending and things like that, it's, it's, it's a very tough space to be in for profits. And again, calls into question the entire crypto field, in my opinion. We had a bunch of um, CEOs uh, and senior people leave FTX before this implosion, which again could have, could be very telling. And again, in the future, people will suspect where there's smoke, there's fire. You certainly don't leave a company that's that's going to the moon. To me, I don't see any market-based price that would have changed that, right? I mean, what what caused this panic, this run? And would it appear this it was this unreasonable faith in FTT. And now the question is who made those loans? Who lent FTT? Who lent FTX and Almeida money against FTT? Whoever did that is probably out of business. If you look at other bailouts in history, they generally have been at bottoms. So I guess that's one thing to consider. But the problem is that, that those bailouts usually come with some government, um, some government bailout. And certainly we know the, the US government or any other government is not um, bailing out anyone. Those jobs will probably be cut pretty quickly. Um, so there'll be a lot of quantitative talent out there.